Hi, I'm Eduardo Nourette with Campus Reform. Thanks for joining us today. We've got a great interview with one of our correspondents, Justine Brooke Murray. She's a Campus Reform correspondent out of Syracuse University, and she's joining us here today to kind of share an interesting story that, that she has received on campus, some backlash she's experienced for some of the reporting that she's done for us. So Justine, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so walk the, the viewer through what's gone on. I mean, I know you've done a lot of great reporting for us at Campus Reform, and you basically brought to our attention um, some feedback, some pretty nasty feedback you had been getting from a professor. Uh, he called you a disruptor, um, so, sort of went after you on social media for some of the reporting you've done for us. So kind of walk us through where this started, why it started, um, even you know what story sort of prompted him to react like this. This professor has been a professor of mine since freshman year and then again sophomore year. And this year, although he's not teaching one of my classes, he's still in charge of my major. So when I report on my stories, sometimes I'll get, or a lot of times I'll get Facebook notifications, but I found out that this professor was actually posting about not just my stories, but about me in general on his public Facebook page. And I realized this, almost a year ago, but I didn't think much of it because after all, uh, it was just the professor posting about my article. Everybody has the right to their own opinions. But then it started, it started from campus reform articles, but it launched into when I met President Trump and I stood next to him during the free speech executive order, he posted an image of me with him on an article uh, with some nasty words, just a uh, he said like, ugh. And in the comments section, some professors were, some professors and some non-professors uh, were saying, oh, I know her, I know Justine, she's a right-wing agitator. And I saw that this professor was liking their comments, but it really got to the point where just last week, this hasn't happened before, but I woke up to a notification from my professor on Facebook. He shared one of my posts asking a question during the Republican versus Democratic debate on campus, and he wrote in the headline, here you go. And I didn't know what he meant, but I looked down, and his previous post was, quote, we have some pro-Trump disruptors on campus. Now, I don't know how this professor could have found my Facebook without him actively searching for me. I never sought him out on Facebook or interacted with him or liked or friended him. So he must have just searched me. It, it started with the articles and now this professor is actually tagging me online to his friends, to his followers to go and harass me. Well, and you made a great point, you know, at Campus Reform, we report on things that professors say, that administrators say, but, you know, it's very straight reporting. There's no opinion in there. We never call for, you know, anyone to be fired. We believe in, in both professor and student rights to free speech, but it seems this professor has re really has a problem, as you mentioned, with, with some of the things you do on campus. Um, so let me be clear, w were you ever a student in his class? I was. I was a student twice in his class. And when you were in his classroom, um, was, did that overlap with the time frame that you reported for campus reform? And if so, um, or if not, you know, d d was he aware of your other activism on campus? Uh, and did he ever really take out his disagreements with you in the form of grading or in the classroom? Or, or did his kind of uh, targeting of you online occur sort of after you were his student? His targeting, targeting online occurred a little bit after. It was the semester after he taught me. Um, during classrooms, um, during class discussions, he would start arguments with me. He would teach that all right-wing views or all just right of center views are right-wing conspiracy theories. And I would question him during classes and he would get irritated when I questioned him, um, even though he gave the opportunity for students to ask questions. He never graded me unfairly, which, um, you know, that's right. I, I was happy about that. Um, so I didn't really think much of it again, even when he started posting about me online because I felt, well, he has a right to his opinion. But then he started tagging me. And although he's not actively teaching one of my classes, he's still in charge of the major I'm in. He runs the major. And I'm, I'm still a student at the university. I'm not graduating until next year. He's still a professor. And it's not right. 
So as you mentioned earlier, you know, the latest development was his comments on uh, a question you had posed at a recent campus deba debate. Now, my understanding is that you've sort of taken this to another level. You've kind of now wanted to report uh, to a higher office on campus what he's been doing to you. So tell us a little bit about that. And also, if you've ever, you know, reached out to him, you know, privately or, or you know, maybe in person to say, hey, professor, you know, I know you disagree with me. I know we have our disagreements, but, could, you know, could you please stop doing this on social media or, or could you please stop, uh, you know, tagging me in posts? Have you done that at all? And then again, if you could just walk us through how you've reported this to, to a higher office on campus. So I reported this to um, my Title VI counselor, a counselor I already have, I've already been assigned after another professor physically approached me and grabbed me by the shoulder last year, threatening me, telling me to watch out, saying that she knows who I am, even though I might not know who she is. So uh, investigations have already been going on about professors harassing me. And this is the second professor who I had to report. Um, the title, the, the Title VI department, they basically reached out to me again and said, no, we're sorry you're going through this. Um, just puff words. They asked me what was the context of my professor posting about me online as if, you know, there might be some justification sure. for why he's targeting me. Um, they asked me for a link to one of the articles I wrote for Campus Reform back in the fall as this professor posted about it. And there he smeared me once again. And he had a conversation with his followers in the comments where another person said, oh, um, Rupert, Rupert's this professor's name, I happened to find her Facebook page. Oh, 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 I happened to have creeped on her Facebook page. And this professor just went along with it. Um, so, so far, nothing's really happening. The Title VI department um, did not reach out to me other um, than with that response um, regarding this professor who targeted me online. I haven't gone up to this professor in person to confront him about it. Um, I wanted to you know, talk, I wanted to talk with my family first, to be honest, because my family's concerned. My parents are, of course, as parents, a little bit paranoid about my safety and they have every right to be. But um, last semester, I do remember this professor coming up to me during a meeting and whispering in my ear, are you going to write about this? You know, menacingly, and you know it's it's startling. I got caught off sure. guard. Well, you you alluded to it uh, a little bit in your last answer, but the next question I was going to ask you is, how has this made you feel? Has have you felt that um, you know maybe going forward you kind of have to hesitate and, and rethink some of your activism, reconsider whether you will participate in activism? I mean, you you seem to be resilient in that and and in the fact that you will continue to be a conservative on campus despite the fact that you have received this pushback from professors and whatnot. But overall, how has it made you feel? I mean, what, what have your friends said? Uh, are people you know, sympathetic to you on campus? Even maybe some students who you know who maybe don't agree with you politically. I mean, are you hearing that from other people that this is really inappropriate and, and something that shouldn't be tolerated? A few people have spoken to me privately. A couple of students sometimes approach me in the hallways or in the library um, saying, hey, you know, thank you for what you're doing. But these students are afraid to speak up. Someone reported to me that they actually lost their roommate because they said that they knew me and they defended me when I was mobbed at a protest I was covering back in November. Um, and that comes with the bat. So we have, there are a few people on campus who have expressed support, who you know, tell me to hang in there. But I get nervous walking around on campus now because often I'll get approached by people who aren't so friendly. Someone on, uh, on the school bus a few weeks ago, I overheard them in the background saying, oh, that's that girl again. Uh, she exploits people at protests. Um, I'll go confront her and I'll call you when it's done. And this person was talking to one of his friends. So that was scary for me because um, at that point, I actually tried to miss my stop because I was worried that this person would follow me back to my campus apartment. And you know, I had to speak to um, my Title VI counselor about that. Um, 
In regards to being afraid to continue my activism and reporting on campus, I feel that if I stop now and if I let myself um, be fearful because of these incidents, then the people who want to shut conservative students down, they will win. And I'm not here to let that happen. Um, until I graduate, I'm going to be here on campus. I'm going to continue exposing biases because I really want to set an example for other conservative students and incoming students, not just at Syracuse, but on college campuses across the country, that they don't have to be afraid anymore just because they hold different beliefs. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm sorry you've had to go through this, Justine. I have two more questions for you. Number one, why do you think professors are doing this? Why do you think professors feel empowered, emboldened, um, and not only empowered, emboldened, but why do you feel like they are going after conservative students such as yourself? I mean, especially, you know, the professor you mentioned who you didn't even know who they were, and they, they went up to you and grabbed you and, and sort of gave you this eerie, creepy, uh, you know, comment saying that they knew who you were. Why do you think they're doing that? And then going forward, um, what is your hope out of what will come out of the Title VI process? I mean, if you, if you could paint the perfect scenario about how this gets resolved, um, what do you hope to see and, and what do you hope that the university does? Professors, especially tenured professors, are doing this. They feel like they're able to intimidate students with different beliefs because no one's stopping them. No one has come up to them yet and said, hey, uh, you know, this isn't okay. And when we do report it to Title VI departments or departments of diversity and inclusion on campus, these professors know that nothing will happen because usually nothing happens. If this happened to a liberal student or a student of a certain race or ethnicity, then of course the whole campus would uh, go in a complete uproar, in a, in a complete protest. And you would hear about this all over the mainstream media, just like you did with the recent racist and bigoted incidents that have occurred on our campus. So these professors are actually getting empowered and they feel empowered to intimidate students because nobody, no one's putting a stop to this. Um, in regards to what I hope I can get out of this and um, possibly resolve the situations with the professors who have threatened me, um, the Title VI department before with the professor who grabbed me by the shoulder said that they'll have a meeting with me, her, and her higher ups. And I don't know whether, I, I don't know what this university, uh, whether they should sanction these professors or, but they need to do something to get out the point that you can't threaten students, even if they disagree with you. And I hope the professors who have threatened me will get that in their brains. Well, keep us posted, Justine. Let us know what happens. Uh, update us on any things that the university has done, anything that's happened in your process, and definitely if you experience more targeting from these professors. Justine Brooke Murray from Syracuse University. Thanks for joining us. Hey there, my name is Hannah Catherine Smith and I'm with Campus Reform. To continue seeing videos like these, be sure to subscribe here. And if you're interested in becoming a member of the Campus Reform team as an investigator or a correspondent, you can join the team here. And if you'd like to help us continue making videos like these, donate here.